you are learning Power BI, then this is the series for you. Start from video one to learn all the basic concepts of Power BI. This particular series had more than 150 plus videos to teach you each and every concepts around DEX, around Power Query, so that you can enhance your skills in Power BI. Subscribe to the channel. Hello and welcome to another video on beginner tutorial series and in today's video we are going to discuss three power query functions on table. Now the first function which we are going to discuss is table.first then we are going to discuss table.first and, and table.first value. These are the three functions. So table.first what does this function does? It takes a table argument and default return value and it returns the first row of the table or an optional default value means the whatever value you are giving is can return that what example has been given so here a table from record has been created and the first row has been asked so the first row of this one has been given now if you further go there has been uh, empty record table has been given and it default value has been given and that has been written so that is what this function is going to do now let's look at first and now with the name you might have realized is going to give us first n number of rows. So if the table uh, is created and we ask for two rows, then it's going to give first two rows. Like this table has three rows. If you ask three, it's going to give the complete table. Okay. And then in the second one, you can give a condition like, you know, uh, for each a greater than zero. And then based on that condition, you can get the first few rows, the satisfying that conditions. Okay. So first row where a greater than zero in the table. So that's what also you can do. So these kind of stuff we can do. So we need to try this out. Now then there is something known as table dot first value. So table and then optional default value. And then this is going to return the first column, first row. That's what we are going to get it. So let's try these functions out. So let's go to the Power BI and try to do these functions in Power Query. So first thing what we are going to do is from the home tab, go to transform data and transform data. And here we will reach to power query. Now in power query, I already have some tables created. I let me show you with the advanced editor. This was created like hash table. So this is what also we could use. Now first, what we are going to do is uh, let's use table name, which is already created. And then we will also use the table code. So first function we want to try is table dot first. So for that, what we are going to do is from home tab of power query, we go to new source blank query. Let's rename it as table first. I double click and rename it. Otherwise on the right click, there is an option to rename. Now either you can right click and go to advanced editor or there is an option in the home tab in the middle. You have this option advanced editor. Now here we are going to say table dot first and then we can use our table name so let's start typing table one it suggests us hash table one when there whenever there is a space the way to give the table name is hash and in the double quotes the name okay so we got table dot first we got a record which is our the first record of our table okay so that's what we got so another option was there that if we have an empty table, uh, then we can return some default value. So let's just try that out directly putting into the code. So go to the home new source blank query. Then again, we can rename it as table first to right click advanced editor into the advanced editor in the source. We give the complete code and then we'll get table first empty record we are creating with an empty record and then we are giving a record we give the record in the square bracket list in the angular bracket and then we say okay and then we get zero zero value we get a record now if you remember uh, initially i shown you this code on the table one right click advanced editor let's take up this code directly why don't we say on the code and let's modify it little bit if required so now i go to this code table first and instead of this one, let me try out if I can give the code and get it. Okay. Now let's do go ahead and modify this one. Let's say
okay so whatever modification i am doing the same first row is coming it's always the first row which is coming in okay so that's the first function now now let's go ahead and try first end so again the same step we are going to do first we go to home new source blank query double click table first and right click advanced editor table dot first n and this time let's give the code already copied let's take out first two rows and we say okay so we got the first two rows in this case it's returning a table let's see what happens when we give minus one it errors out what happens when we give zero it gives zero rows it, it doesn't error at least and one we are going to get one row so first and one row in the first n so let us try to give a condition and the condition the way we are going to give is each and b we need to make the case also less than equal to two so in our first records these conditions should match if our first record does not match then it's not going to come out so i'm going to give you one example why does it matter like if i say greater than equal to now see the first record itself was not matching so then it's not going to give so the whatever condition we are giving the first from the first till the nth record it should match so let's say if i say greater than equal to one then we'll get all the records because from the first record onwards it start matching so if the, it fails on the first record is not going to give the any record so if it passes on the first record then it goes to second and third and it will keep on going till that condition is true okay so that's how it is behaving so don't get confused when you give the second condition why it is not showing the third record let's say greater than equal to two no it's not going to show the very first record should satisfy satisfy then the second record then the third record and whatever is getting satisfied from the top those are only the record which is going to take so this is first and with condition now let's try out the last one again go to the home tab new source blank query and we will try out table first value let's see and let's right click advanced editor table dot first value that's what we are going to try out not first and first value and then let's give a table here table space one we will type and then it will suggest and from this suggestions i am pressing the enter to get that value so i got abc let's look what is the first value here it is abc let's look what is the table two table two one should be the value let's go ahead and try out table two instead of table one and you know if we are seeing something here we can actually go ahead and change it into this formula box itself and you can see one value is coming so this is how these three function works so like let's say you are bringing data from the database and you only need the first row of the table or first few rows of the table that's how you can control it now can you make it dynamic something like that so let's say here this is the my table let's go ahead and write down a little bit of code advanced editor instead of this one let's alt this just press enter and write down let's say underscore records equals to let's say two and can we give here underscore record we need to have a comma here each line should give us something it can give us table it can give us number so we declared a number which is two and then we are using it can it give us okay now can it be m parameter dynamic uh, basically manage parameters the m parameter so we go to manage parameter and then we'll say okay and no record let's say different name we should give and no rec the value is basically the number so we have decimal number text binary let's take decimal any value let's say value is equal to one okay so norec let's see can we use norec here so we are can use the parameter so now what could be the uses i bring in few records from my file i restrict it while bringing this table and then when i go i change this m parameter 
in Power BI service and get more records. That could be one of the use cases with this first time. So go ahead and try this out. Do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.